Hey guys, it's Dan and I just got back from the gym and I checked my phone and I keep getting questions about uh, the Python projects you should build to uh, to bootstrap a portfolio, to create an online portfolio for yourself. You know, what, what kinds of projects should you be working on? And there seems to be a lot of confusion around you know, what should you be building? What should you be working on? How do you get inspired? And how do you find these projects? And uh, where do you get the ideas? And then how do you implement them? So I um, just wanted to share some more thoughts here. Because uh, thinking back, you know, this was actually also a problem for me when I when I got more serious about learning how to program. And um, I, I think I just kind of bumbled my way through it. And so I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to give you some strategies you can actually use and make this process a little bit more controlled, maybe. Anyway, so hope, hopefully this is going to help you um, figure out what kinds of projects to build. So what I would recommend that you do, and this worked really well for me, um, in the beginning, uh, when I was learning programming, this worked really well for me too. So what I recommend that you do is reinvent the wheel constantly, you know, all the time, like every single day when you're sitting down to code, when you're, um, when you're trying to hone your skills, rebuild an existing project uh, with your own programming skills you know take something that that you know someone else already implemented and this could be you know it could be something very simple like a little clock application an alarm timer um, maybe a little command line unix tool like the copy command or the list files command um, you know dir if you're in windows and all of these little tools just take them um, assuming that you understand what they do and how they actually work, take them and reinvent them, like rebuild them from scratch with Python. And by doing that, you're you're uh, you're really going to hone your skills, you know. And it solves the problem that you have to you know you have to figure like if you're doing any kind of other project that you came up with on your own, like some kind of idea, like you're going to build the next best, you know, you're going to build the next uh, social media website or something like that or app. The challenge with that is that you have to do what is called requirements engineering as well. You have to actually figure out what you're going to build in the first place. You know, how is this gonna work? Like what kinds of views are there gonna be in the app and what's the data model gonna look like and how is you, are you gonna store data and you know, what are you gonna present to the user? And that really distracts you from the actual programming work. You know, this is more design work and system design work, which is important, but if you wanna, if you wanna hone your programming skills, then get rid of all of that stuff. So instead, what I what I would recommend that you do is take some simple programs and tools that already exist that you know how they work, and you're gonna remake them from scratch. You're gonna rebuild them, and uh, that way you're gonna learn a lot about the programming tasks. So let's say you're taking a command like the copy file command in Unix. You know the cp command. Can you do something like that? in Python, you know, can you sit down and write something like that in half an hour? Can you do it in an hour? Can you do it in a day, in a week, in 10 minutes? You know, it doesn't matter. The The idea here is that you take something that is very well defined and already implemented and you have some experience working with it and you're remaking it. So with the copy file command, you know, you can also reduce the fidelity. Maybe it, you're not doing a full-blown replacement, which would actually be a ton of work because there are so many different command line switches and compatibility options. But, you know, if the simplest case would just be your command takes an input file name and an output file name, and it just copies the contents, like it creates a new file and copies the contents of the input file to the output file. You can do that in Python. And maybe it doesn't sound like the most interesting problem, but it solves the huge problem of finding inspiration. And it allows you to sit down and do something every single day. And it's actually a lot of fun if you if you ship, you know, if you ship something in the sense that, well, you've finished a little project and you can play with it and kind of see how it works, where it breaks down. Can you make it a little bit better? Can you make it easier to use? And, and all of these things, right? So I personally, I find that really motivating. And you can take that uh, you can do that with 
all kinds of different program, uh, different programs, right? You can you can apply that same technique. You can do it with Unix commands. You can do it with little, um, you know, like Windows little like DOS shell commands. And you can do the same thing with little games. Like maybe you can re-implement some arcade games. Like um, I, I feel like for me the breakthrough when I was like, man, I really want to make this my career and work as a programmer was when I um, I was uh, sick at home you know didn't go to school that day and you know maybe didn't really like feel like going to school that day and i sat down and i wrote like a tetris clone um from scratch using using delphi on on uh, like windows 98 or something like it must have been windows 98 and this just felt like such a huge breakthrough and of course you know i was looking up stuff in books and and i it was not like i was just you know in a complete vacuum like like writing this like totally without help but it really, um, you know, it allowed me to complete something and to ship something and to to have something in front of me that I could play with and just be, uh, it was just like a really, really cool moment. And it really put me on that path where I was sure that from that point on, you know, I wanted to make a career out of programming. So I would encourage you to to also try this technique and to go and just reinvent the wheel. Now you want to stop doing that at some point because you know actually when you're um, when when you've learned enough about Python when you learned enough about programming you want to stop reinventing the wheel in your in your day to day programming work right because that's usually just a waste of time but in the beginning you want to do the opposite you want to be reinventing the wheel all the time because it's going to help you hone your skills and it removes that obstacle where you're just thinking. You know, you're just think, spending too much time thinking about what you want to work on next and what you should be building. So just remove that, make a list. Okay, so you want to do something right now, Make a sit down right now, make a list of 10 Unix command line programs that you're going to replicate. You know, and you're just going to write them, write one of them, you know, do it once a week do, or do it once a day, whatever your schedule allows, and you're just going to go for it. I promise you, if you complete this project, you're going to feel great and you will have learned a whole lot. So just off the top of my head, a couple of commands to get your list started. Do the copy command, the CP command. Do the cat command, uh, where you just print out a file to the standard output. Um, do the list directory command. Do the remove command, but be careful, don't screw up your computer. And... Um, Let's see what else would be would be interesting to do. You know, you can you can even do um, you can even try and build a little editor, like maybe like the the less command or something like that, right? So there's so many options you have here, or you know something like a file download command where you give it a URL and downloads the file and it stores it on disk somewhere, it's some, sort of like the curl command. So just take these and just run with it. And do that for a week or however long it takes you. And I promise you're going to learn a ton. And you're going to also learn a ton about the areas where you should be focusing on. You know, if you ever, every time you get, you feel like you get stuck trying to implement a command like that, you can, you will know what you need to learn next. You know, whether that is interacting with files, whether that is exception handling, whether that is printing to the console, you're going to know, um, you're going to know what the problem is here. And of course, you know, here with this with this strategy, I'm assuming some uh, some amount of computer literacy. But actually, if you're watching this video, um, you probably have that already. So, all right. So best of luck, you know, please try this. Let me know how it works for you. Leave a comment below because this this was huge for me and it really, really helped me um, start my career as a software developer and kind of, you know, get on the right track here. All right. Best of luck and happy Pythoning.